Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Reborn as a Snake, 10,000 times acceleration, turning into a dragon. Chapter 101 The city god thought for a long time, and finally looked at Fan Zongyun again, since Nalong is not on the life and death spectrum, you should write it yourself. As long as Nalong's information is put into writing, it will naturally come to fruition. Check it out at that time. Give it a try. Fan Zongyun had no idea, because he had never done such a thing before. Afterwards, he opened the life and death spectrum again, and the nib of the ecstasy pen in his right hand was shining with light, and he wrote towards the life and death spectrum. As the pen fell, the score of life and death burst into fiery light, illuminating the entire hall incomparably dazzling. Will it work? The records on the life and death spectrum are not artificially added. Instead, the yin and yang of heaven and earth are self-generated. Everything is definite. All the ghosts stared at Fan Zongyun intently. But Fan Zongyun was sweating profusely, as if he was doing something very difficult. Every time he engraved a character on the life and death spectrum, it was as if he had exhausted all the strength. A red robe is hunting, and there is no wind automatically. After a full cup of tea. Puff. Fan Zongyun spat out a mouthful of blood, and took three steps backwards precariously. After stabilizing, a smile appeared on his face. It worked. It was formed by pen and ink, and Nalong's information was engraved on the life and death spectrum. However, before Fan Zongyun was happy for a moment, the spectrum of life and death bloomed again. In the blink of an eye, the characters engraved on the life and death book just now disappeared without a trace. Ahem. A mortal elder. No way. Fan Zongyun said with a cough, his face full of helplessness. Toss in vain. Try again, I won't believe it anymore, this Nalong can really escape from the three realms, not in the five elements. City God was very annoyed, the veins on his forehead popped out. Fan Zongyun smiled wryly and shook his head. The power of the lower officials is seriously exhausted, and I may not be able to do it if I try again. Don't look at him just engraving a few words on the life and death spectrum and recording some information. But the book of life and death in his hands is different from the one in the hands of ordinary judges. This is the book of life and death, one of the three books of heaven, earth and man. It is the book of life and death that really governs life and death. If you want to put pen to paper on it and reverse yin and yang, it can be said to be as difficult as climbing the sky. This deity will help you. City God's temper became stubborn, and he merged his index and middle fingers, and shot a divine light towards Fan Zongyun. In an instant, Fan Zongyun's face flushed like a god's help. The ecstasy pen in his right hand is shining brightly, and he writes on the book of life and death again. But this time, when the pen fell on the paper, it didn't move at all, as if it was attracted by some strange force. Okay, Fan Zongyun frowned. He now has the divine power of the city god, and his power is infinite. Try hard to outline, but the strange thing is that the prisoner pen seems to be stuck. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't move. This judge doesn't believe in evil anymore, let me go. Fan Zongyun gave a loud shout. Boom, only a crisp sound burst out. All the ghosts and gods in the hall looked at Fan Zongyun in a daze, showing disbelief. All the spirits are in a state of half foolishness. The ecstasy pen actually broke from it. Fan Zongyun trembled all over, his eyes widened, and his whole body instantly petrified. After a few breaths, Fan Zongyun spat out a mouthful of heavy blood and went straight to the ground. Suddenly, the main hall of the town god's temple was in chaos. Demon Slayer Headquarters, Wei Shuzun, who was lying comfortably on the soft couch, had a gloomy expression on his face. His face was extremely ugly. The beautiful fox next to her was stunned, not daring to speak. But secretly laughing inwardly, she felt pain for Wei Shuzun's face. The face was slapped. The real dragon in Wulongtan destroyed the imperial decree and refused to obey it. This scene did not know how many people were slapped in the face. Among them was Wei Shuzun. But compared to Lord Chengwang, he became angry from embarrassment. Wei Shuzun's reaction was quite normal. At least he hasn't lost his temper yet. However, the mountain rain is about to come and the wind is full of wind, and the beautiful fox feels that the man in front of her is basically on the verge of breaking out. What kind of person is Wei Yan, the first fairy spirit canonized by the Ming dynasty? 
Now he ranks among the three princes, sits in charge of killing demons, and is in charge of the leader of the world's demons. His words have always represented the power of life and death. All things are considered exhaustive. Only the Tianxing Mountain Snake King deviated from Wei Shuzhen's control from beginning to end. In the early stage, I wanted to kill it, but I never killed it. Later, when I saw the other party ascending the gate of heaven and transforming into a dragon, I roused my love for talents again. From killing to security. This time, the opponent killed the six-eyed Jinni, and the Emperor Renwang personally canonized the fairy. What a situation. Everyone is happy. Wei Shuzun originally thought that the other party had accepted the order and found an opportunity to pull the real dragon to his camp to train the demon master. It used to be a matter of course. But Wei Shuzun never expected that the dragon dared to resist the order in front of the world. This decree of resistance is tantamount to repeatedly rubbing the face of the emperor and the entire Ming dynasty on the ground. How could Wei Shuzun not be angry? The opponent deviates from his control again and again. Now that the resistance order is not complied with, it is completely on the opposite side of the Ming dynasty. His previous pulse seemed ridiculous. Like a clown. The joy of jumping on your own, but others don't like you at all. Come here, pass on the four master mirror envoys. After Wei Shuzun had passed for a long time, Tuan opened his mouth to speak. Afterwards, the four dignified figures, wearing flying fish suits with goldfish bags on their waists, made Chi Chi stand in front of Wei Shuzun. Everyone's aura is incomparably powerful, just pulling anyone out can make the monsters in Tianxing Mountain tremble. Issuing a first level arrest warrant, the next task of the monster killer is to capture the real dragon of Wolongtan and order it to be a master of Buddhism and Taoism to assist in attacking the mountain. Attack the mountain, the fox beauty next to her gasped in fright, this is for real. Within one month, the deity wants that dragon to be imprisoned in the prison of the demon slayer, and the deity will personally interrogate it at that time. Wei Shuzun showed his sharpness in just two sentences. There is no room for maneuver. The four master mirror envoys all kowtowed and took orders with a murderous look. Then Wei Shuzun shot two sharp rays from his eyes. He really wanted to ask what the dragon was thinking. Why do you openly resist the order when there is no harm in it? If so, there is no Ming dynasty in his eyes. Why do you want to kill the six-eyed golden beast, why do you want to protect the people in the suburbs? This is not paradoxical. If it weren't for its intention to release a signal to please the great Ming dynasty, it would not be such an oolong joke. If it were those monsters who took a clear stand against the Ming dynasty, how could the human sovereign make such an open decree? Isn't this slapping yourself in the face? It is playing, and everyone who is playing is turning around. The more Wei Shuzun thought about it, the more angry he became, and the killing intent in his chest shot out like the wind. How many years have I been so aggrieved? Your Majesty has a decree, Zan Wei's first honor enters the palace to face the saint. A sharp voice sounded from the monster slayer. Wei Shuzhen's murderous aura froze for a moment, then he smiled wryly. He could already predict what kind of storm he would face after entering the palace. In the final analysis, the source of Riki comes from the dereliction of duty of monster slayer. If Liamu Jinyi hadn't been rescued in prison, this series of things wouldn't have happened. Rao is Wei Shuzun, he is a little scared to enter the palace at this moment. Because no one can bear Ming Xuanwang's violent temper. Wei Shuzun went to the palace obediently. Finally stepped into the royal study. Soon, there was a crackling sound of falling jade objects in the imperial study room. Ming Xuanwang pointed at Wei Yan's nose and cursed for an hour. The dignified emperor, in front of the people of the world, canonized the fairy. It turned out to be rejected. Even if this ninth five-year venerable had the heart to swallow mountains and rivers with anger, he would not be able to swallow this breath. Wei Shuzun could only be criticized by the leaders obediently. And outside the royal study. Not long after, a young man with golden hair appeared. His facial features are extremely handsome, and his body exudes an extremely noble and noble aura. Just like the proud son of heaven and earth, he came to the world. This person is the 13th prince of Emperor Mingxuan, and he retreated. Although he is not the prince of the Eastern Palace, he is loved by Ming Xuanwang. He is the first prince with a seven-bead crown among many princes. All the favors, almost equal to the crown prince. 
The future heir of the Ming dynasty is said to be either the crown prince or the thirteen princes in front of him. The reason is that the thirteenth prince bears the fate of Qianlong. It's a pity that he is not the first prince. Otherwise, he is destined to inherit the great rule of the country. But even so, Xiao Qish still has a good chance. At this time, Xiao Qish, who was standing outside the imperial study room, raised frivolous eyebrows, and a slight smile rose from the corner of his mouth. He raised his feet in the air, and a cloud rose under his feet, and he stepped up in the air. Intel standing high in the sky. Dare to openly reject my father's canonization, such a rebellious and unruly real dragon, it's really interesting. I have the fate of Qianlong. If I can subdue the real dragon in Wolongtan, my reputation in the court will surpass that of the prince. Xiao Qish muttered to himself, looking in the direction of Tianxing Mountain with far-reaching eyes. But I'm afraid it's not easy to subdue that real dragon. Fortunately, the Peacock King, one of the four great monster kings in the deep mountains of Tianxing Mountain, has already agreed to submit to my prince. With it to help me, it shouldn't be difficult. Fortunately, no one heard Xiao Qish's words, otherwise it would be a shock. It is unimaginable that the Demon King of the Deep Mountain in Tianxing Mountain surrendered to him. At this moment, Xiao Qish, who was standing high in the sky, saw Wei Shuzun coming out of the Imperial Study Room and shook his head in disappointment. It is really a pity that the First Lord who is in charge of the Demon Slaying Division never participated in the seizure of the air. He promised the Peacock King of Tianxing Mountain that if he ascended the throne in the future, he would let him be in charge of killing demons. Even though the Demon Killing Division is an organization for eliminating demons, the head of all dynasties has never been a human race. After Lin Mu refused to comply with the edict, he returned to Wolongtan. He didn't hide in the pool to practice, but perched on the canopy of the willow tree. I began to think about my future direction in my heart. Regarding the canonization imperial decree that the Emperor of Ming Dynasty suddenly gave to him, it was beyond Lin Mu's expectation. This blatant refusal may worsen the relationship with the Ming court. But he was also speechless. You gave me an imperial decree so suddenly, have you considered my feelings? Labor and capital are not your subjects. Lin Mu just wants to be a dragon that transcends the mundane world and surpasses the nine heavens. He didn't want to have anything to do with the human court. Everyone enters the water and does not violate the river water. I will not cause trouble for you, and you should not mess with it. However, things backfired. The human emperor suddenly decreed that there was no room for Lin Mu at all. Accepting the order is against Lin Mu's original intention. If he does not accept the order, he will stand on the opposite side with the Ming court. This made everyone very embarrassed. No, I have to deduce it carefully, and it will be difficult to practice without obedience. Lin Mu concluded that the Ming dynasty would not let it go, and was afraid that it would come to trouble itself. After some unpredictable prophets who know the future against their will, Lin Mu saw the scene of corpses strewn all over the field and bloodstained. The demon killing division sent a large number of masters to attack Wolongtan. He is bound to be brought to justice as a dragon. Seeing this ending, Lin Mu's eyes flashed coldly and then flashed out. Labor and capital have killed such a murderous creature as Liamu Jinyi for you, so it's okay not to thank you. Backhand attack just because he rejected the imperial decree. Labor and management did not ask you to recruit. As a dragon ascending to heaven, if he is attached to the court of the human race, he will lose his arrogance. If the dragon loses its arrogance, it becomes a middle school. How to transcend the nine days. If you want to start a war, then come. Lin Mu's murderous intent emerges faintly, don't give labor and management this kind of drama where those who follow me prosper and those who oppose me perish. Do not eat this set. Take a step back. No, take a step back, others will just push their noses on their faces. Lin Mu asked lightly towards the surrounding mountains and forests, how many dragons are there in the snake clan so far? A dragon master appeared in front of the willow tree, knelt down on one knee and replied, I tell the king, there are 1,500 pieces, all of which are at the level of the 10,000-year-old demon. Okay, Pass on the king's order to order all the thousand and five hundred dragons to hide at the entrance of Tianxing Mountain, and if any expert from the race enters the mountain, they will all be killed without mercy. As soon as the words came out, the towering willow trembled, and rustling branches fell. 
Are you crazy? You want to start a war with the human race? Is it necessary to make such a big fuss? The willow tree originally took root in Wolongtan to escape from that perverted crow. Unexpectedly, the dragon in front of him was crazier than that crow. To start a war with the human race. It's not that I made a big fuss, but that the matter itself is big. Through deduction, Lin Mu knew that the Ming dynasty wanted to get serious about him. If he doesn't fight back, he will only be manipulated. If you hurt the enemy, the enemy will not dare to provoke you. Otherwise it is endless. Lin Mu then plunged into the pool. Data Visualization Host Lin Mu Species Three Clawed True Dragon Identity King of the Snake Clan Dao Xing 53,000 years. Merit scales. 780,000 pieces. The 72 techniques of earth evil spirits, master them all. 36 methods of Tiangong. Call the wind and rain, turn the river and stir the sea, know the future against the sky, rebirth with a drop of blood, follow the sky and the earth. Ghost servant. Impermanence in black and white, fourth rank, Judge Zhongli, third rank. Sight. Wolongtan. Lin Mu glanced at his latest data. Dao Xing skyrocketed very quickly, and it was about to break through towards tens of millions of years. This is due to the Yuanshan who devoured the six-eyed golden dragon. All of a sudden, Lin Mu skyrocketed nearly 50,000 years of Taoism. This is only the case of devouring the primordial spirit, and the six-eyed golden beast has not recovered its full strength. In addition, by killing the six-eyed golden beast, merit descended, and more than 500,000 merit scales were manifested. Facts have proved that to brush monsters and level up, you have to fight boss, and the experience value will increase quickly. At the same time, while Lin Mu skyrocketed, he comprehended a kind of supernatural power of Tiangong all at once. Shake the mountains and shake the ground. It can cause earthquakes on the ground, shake the ground and shake the mountains, and can deter mountains and rivers. It has great power. Zongdi Jingguang it is an extremely powerful escapism technique to transform into a golden light that can travel thousands of miles a day. Especially the last great supernatural power of Tiangong made Lin Emu's eyes shine. Bring the dead back to life. Bring the dead back to life, let the soul of the dead return to the body, and rebirth from nirvana, fully showing the mystery of life and death. The supernatural power of getting up and returning to life has already subverted the yin-yang and five elements of the world. Bring the dead back to life. It is definitely a fairy magic. The system's Taoism has broken through 100,000 years, and you can be promoted to the Five Claw Dragon. Please continue to practice hard. Five Claw Yinglong. Lin Emu's eyes flashed brightly, he only needs 7,000 years of Taoism to break through. 7,000 years may take a long time to achieve for other cultivating creatures. But for Lin Mu, who has a million times faster time to practice, it is only a few days. Today, Lin Mu resisted the edict and did not obey it, which completely offended the Ming dynasty. If he can be promoted to Cheng Yinglong, he will have more confidence. If the three-clawed real dragon is just a god of the dragon, then Yinglong is a complete ancient mythical beast. The body of the dragon is invincible. Time is ticking. Lin Mu began to enter the state of cultivation. It will be a few days in a blink of an eye. In the past few days, it has been peaceful because of hiking. Instead, there was a riot in Kyoto. The Demon Slayer Division sent a large number of masters to gather at the foot of Tianxing Mountain in the suburbs. Batch after batch of people swarmed in. All of them were murderous, and there was a smell of gunpowder smoke in the air. Its scale is even larger than that of Liamu Jinyi who escaped from prison at that time. At the beginning, the people wondered if something major had happened to make such an act of killing demons. But when I asked for the last time, I was stunned. It turned out that the demon slayer had issued a first-level arrest warrant to attack Tianxing Mountain and capture the real dragon of Wolongtan. As soon as the news came out, the world was in an uproar. All of a sudden, public resentment boiled over. Countless voices of controversy poured into Kyoto like a tide. Why did the imperial court arrest the real dragon in Wolongtan? What did the real dragon do wrong? The real dragon did not disturb the common people, and did not break the law and discipline. On the contrary, he killed the six-eyed golden beast and saved the people in the suburbs. He has made great contributions to the world. Is it because the real dragon rejected the imperial decree? The imperial court is too domineering. 
For the people of the world, it is a pity that the real dragon did not receive the order that day. But everyone subconsciously thinks there is nothing wrong with it. It even makes sense the more I think about it. You must know that the dragon is a god in the world, extraordinary and refined. Over nine days, across the four seas. It should be high above, sacred and inviolable. If he submits to the imperial court and is contaminated with worldliness, it is still a fetish. Only a dragon with a bottom line and a proud character is worthy of the admiration and worship of the world. The voice of public opinion then intensified, and most of them were biased towards the real dragon in Wolongtan. The people all over the world raised strong protests against the imperial court's arrest of the real dragon. Unexpectedly, many similar voices appeared in Kyoto. Many princes and nobles began to condemn the hegemonic behavior of the monster slayer. A real dragon who has made meritorious service to the country actually raised his troops to commit crimes. There are so many heinous monsters in Tianxing Mountain, why don't you see the demon-slaying master go to war? Before the masters of the demon-slaying division were assembled, more than a dozen officials joined the demon-slaying division at the Tianchao meeting the next day. He scolded Wei Shuzun for revenge. The real dragon in Wolongtan killed the six-eyed golden beast, and cleaned up the mess for you, but you still want to arrest him. This is not what retribution is. Wei Shuzun is really making trouble for no reason. But there are also officials who stand up to speak for the demon slayer. The real dragon of Wolongtan blatantly resisted the edict and refused to be canonized by the emperor, which is clearly a rebellion. There's nothing wrong with arresting. Wei Shuzun is to maintain the majesty of the emperor and the face of the court. The words of the officials were even sharper. The dragon is a god in the sky, and it is not the people of Ming Dynasty, so it has no obligation to obey the court. It was a sudden decree made by Ming Xuanwang on a whim. If there was no decree that day, there would be no such thing as the opponent's resistance to the decree. The real dragon clearly killed the six-eyed golden beast, guarding the countless people in the suburbs. How did he become an anti-imperial dragon? This is not to reverse black and white, but to reverse yin and yang. But anyone who can be a speech officer is not afraid of death, and even likes to die. After a few words, even Ming Xuanwang accused him. It's strange why Emperor Zan of the Ming Dynasty issued an order blindly when he had nothing to do. If you can't find it yourself, who is to blame? Emperor Ming Xuan, who was sitting on the dragon chair angrily, walked away in the end. However, even if things turned out like this, Wei Shuzun, the demon-slaying division, did not withdraw the first-level arrest warrant. Because the arrow is on the string and has to be fired. If the people of the world discuss a few words, and the officials read a few books, he will withdraw his order. Then he can't be the first one. The demon slayer has no prestige anymore. Wei Shuzun also felt bitter, why everyone was talking to the dragon in Wolongtan. Isn't it just killing the six-eyed golden beast? He sat in the town to kill the demon division, and made many contributions to Daming. How no one remembers. Not in the future. The team is led by the four master mirror envoys of the demon slaying division, with hundreds of flying fish serving as guards, and then united with a group of masters from Taoism and Buddhism. A large group of people gathered at the entrance of Tianxing Mountain. For a moment, the world was filled with a murderous aura. The head mirror envoy is named Xuanyuanfang, a master at the peak level of the third rank, and is Wei Shoshou's right-hand man. His strength is not a problem even if he faces the cave master Demon King. Leading the team this time to capture 103 real dragons in Wolongtan, it can be said that they are all united. Everyone, the first lord ordered that within one month, that Nalong must be arrested and brought to justice, but Xuanyuanfang looked at Tianxing Mountain sharply, and said, but we. As a subordinate, how can you let the First Lord wait so long, every day is enough. Base, Xuanyuan Feng drew out his saber, pointed at the blade obliquely, and shouted, Go into the mountain, take the dragon. Yes, hundreds of masters responded in unison, with overwhelming momentum. These hundreds of guards are at least at the rank of a sixth-rank school lieutenant. Not to mention the assistance of Taoist and Buddhist masters. However, before they started to enter the mountain, the sky suddenly darkened. I saw a huge flood dragon flying out of the forest, covered in scales and armored, blocking the entrance. Master Snake King has an order to prohibit human masters from entering the mountain, otherwise they will be killed without mercy. 
Xuan Yuan Feng didn't panic when he saw Zhao Long, he smiled coldly, just because you are a Zhao Long, you want to stop me from killing the demon squadron. Not one, but fifteen hundred. Zhao Long spoke very honestly. What? Xuan Yuan Feng was taken aback when he heard the words, did he hear correctly, how many? One thousand five hundred dragons. D L L. Suddenly, the sound in the forest shook the sky. Flood dragons flew out one by one, with a huge body and thick monster aura, entrenched in the sky covering the sky and blocking the sun. Many, many dragons, densely covered the entire sky. Any dragon should be at least seven or eighty feet high. Thousands of flood dragons gathered together, as if the end of the world had come. That picture was just horrifying to think about. It made people shudder uncontrollably. The Demon Killing Division is originally an organization to investigate evil spirits, and these grown-ups have never seen any evil spirits. But at this time, everyone's expressions change. Too exaggerated, it's not that Monster Slayer doesn't know that the Snake Clan has been crossing tribulations recently, and also knows that there are many flood dragons. Therefore, this time I went to the mountain to take the dragon, and gathered the hands of the Emperor. You must know that when Wei Shuzun ordered to take the snake, he just sent 200 households into the mountain. Hundreds of masters, led by the four major mirror envoys. But even so well prepared, facing the thousands of flood dragons covering the sky and the sun in front of him. Three words popped out of Xuan Yuanfang's mind, excuse me. Lin Mu, who was cultivating in Wolongtan, suddenly opened his eyes with a cold glow. Coming. The imperial court finally arrived at the foot of Tianxing Mountain. Although my Wolongtan is only a shallow mountain, you will soon know that this area is only a thousand meters above sea level, and it is harder than climbing to the sky. Fifteen hundred flood dragons sealed off the entrance of Tianxing Mountain. Huge in size, invulnerable all over, and all of them have ten thousand years of morality. The combat power of each flood dragon is much stronger than that of ordinary ten thousand year monsters. Even if thousands of troops are coming, don't even try to overstep the thunder. Come on, if you dare to die, labor and capital will dare to bury you. Lin Emu's dragon head poked out of the pool, and his eyes glanced thousands of miles away. Take a panoramic view of the scene at the foot of the mountain. The realm of the demon spirit world. On a high peak, four great demon kings from deep mountains and seventy-two cave masters gathered together. A group of majestic demon clouds gathered in the sky, and the demon clouds were frightening, giving people the illusion of moving mountains and filling seas, destroying the world. Lining this place is like a hell, a place where ghosts and ghosts live. A large number of people from the human race monster killing division wanted to attack the mountain, which naturally shocked the entire Tianxing mountain monster race forces. One of the cave masters said viciously, the demon slayers of the human race really don't take my demon clan seriously anymore. If they attacked the mountain with such a quiet movement, it would be impossible if all of my demon clan were dead. That's right, we must teach the people a lesson, Tianxing Mountain is not something they can come to whenever they want. Yes, we can't just watch the show, we can't watch the snake clan being bullied by the human race like this. Many cave masters started to yell, each one filled with righteous indignation. They are all the kings of the same race, and they have a big temper. Standing at the forefront, the Evergreen King, who was listed as the Demon King of the Deep Mountain, had a cold mouth, and said indifferently, Do you understand that the human race Demon Slayer is here to catch the dragon, what is the relationship with our demon clan? It doesn't matter, the Snake Clan is also a part of our monster clan. King Chengqing glanced at the cave master who was talking, and flickered coldly, the snake king is a real dragon, a god in the sky, you go ask, does he admit that he is a monster, don't worry about eating carrots. I, the cave master was stunned speechless. Suddenly remembered the grievances between King Chengqing and Snake King. I stopped talking for a while. However, the ape stone king, who is also the demon king of the deep mountain, had excitement in his eyes, and said, don't worry about why the demon killer wants to go to the mountain. He just came to visit the mountains and play in the water, and we, the demon clan, can't agree to it. As soon as this remark came out, it aroused the approval of many cave masters. Tianxing Mountain is originally the base camp of demons, a place outside the law. Now the human race monster slayer can come whenever he wants, and he can arrest whoever he wants. How safe are those monsters living in the mountains? 
should the mountain of monsters scold them, the bosses of the demon spirit world, for nothing. The human race is attacking in large numbers, and they dare not even fart. If someone else said this, Chang Ching Wang should go back again. But it happened that this was said by the bad-tempered King Yuanxi, and he didn't dare to offend him easily. I can only snort a few words coldly. In fact, ever since Evergreen King knew that Monster Slayer had issued a first-level arrest warrant for Wulong Tans and Long. I was so excited that I didn't fall asleep at night. Since the establishment of the Great Ming Demon Slayer Division, no one has ever been able to escape whenever a first-level arrest warrant was issued. Wanted monsters, even if they escape to Cape Tianya. The masters of demon slaying divisions will do everything possible to arrest him and bring him to justice. He took great pains to rescue Liam Ujinian, although the expected effect was not achieved. But Emperor Tian paid off, Cheng Ching Wang felt that the dragon was doomed this time. Whoever wants to help the snake clan is to be his enemy. Of course, except for the other three deep mountain demon kings. Cheng Ching King looked nervously at the Peacock King and the Big Rabbit King. The opinions of these two big men are very important. But don't think the same way as that stone monkey. It was a stupefied young man, a militant. The Peacock King put his hands together with a compassionate expression on his face, and said, Buddha said that fate is created by oneself, and form is born from the heart. Ah, well, I don't understand. King Cheng Ching rolled his eyes, but guessed that the Peacock King didn't intend to intervene. He was worried that the Peacock King would say, the Buddha said, saving a life is better than building a seven-level pagoda. Immediately, King Cheng Ching looked at the Little Rabbit King who was petite and miniature. In order to give Little Rabbit King his mind, Cheng Ching King flipped his hands and conjured a fairy fruit that shone with a strong medicinal fragrance. This fairy fruit is a treasure of heaven and earth, it blooms in 100 years and bears fruit in 300 years, and each fruit does not exceed 10. Cultivating organisms can increase their Taoism for hundreds of years at least in one breath. Proper spiritual fruit. Boss, don't eat radishes all the time, try my fairy nest for a different taste. Cheng Ching Wang fawned and handed the fairy to the Little Rabbit King. Little Rabbit King's eyes lit up, and he gave Cheng Ching Wang an expression that you have become sensible recently. Take the fairy fruit quickly. However, the strange thing is that it was obviously a fairy fruit that fell into the hands of the little rabbit king. In an instant it turned into a carrot. The corners of King Cheng Ching's mouth twitched as he watched. I feel like I made a stupid mistake. It would be nice to just pull out the root radish and offer it up, it's a waste of money. Little rabbit king happily ate the radish in his hand, and Wang Cheng Ching said, Boss, I think the dragon's own fault for attacking the Wolongtan by the demon slayers of the human race is entirely the fault of the dragon. Now that it is burning itself, there is no need for us to intervene, right? The 72 cave masters all looked at Little Rabbit King. This person's words are almost equivalent to the imperial decree in Tianqing Mountain. Although Little Rabbit Wang Ping doesn't care about things and just loves to wander around, but no one dares to ignore him. But the little rabbit king smiled and asked, This tastes good, do you have any more? The corners of King Cheng Ching's mouth twitched again, and he asked tentatively, Are you referring to the radish or the fairy fruit? If only carrots were enough. If it was the fairy fruit, he might need a little time to think and answer. The little rabbit king smiled slyly, I think the snake clan should help. Yes, I still have a fairy fruit here. King Cheng Ching hurriedly took out another one, which was shining brightly. Whether the snake clan should help or not, I'm afraid we still have to. 3. Cheng Ching Wang took out two more in pain. Whether the snake clan should help or not depends on everyone's wishes, but I think it's still necessary to. 5. That's 5, really. King Cheng Ching took out two more, his heart was so painful that he was about to suffocate. Looking at the little rabbit king with a resentful face, you leave me the tongue twister, right? Don't play like this, he he. Five is five. The little rabbit king accepted it, took five fairy fruits, and threw two behind him. Immediately triggered the looting of the 72 cave masters. Another one was thrown to the peacock king and the ape stone king. I also kept one for myself, and I will eat it later. Small eyes, bent into crescent moons. Thank you for the big reward. The two cave masters who had snatched the fairy fruit clasped their fists in thanks, their faces beaming with joy. You have to wait 400 years for this fairy fruit before you have the chance to eat it. 
but it's a good thing, I got it. King Yu and she finished eating after two bites, grinning, it tastes good, but I can't help eating it. The peacock king Amitabha paused, and he decided to eat or not, and he was not polite at the time of day. King Chengqing's face was full of bitterness and hatred, he used my fairy fruit to pretend to be a local tyrant, right? Anyway, give me one too. Isn't there a share for those who see it? Cough. Chengqing king coughed, and looked at little rabbit king with hope. Boss, you can continue talking now. It's over. The little rabbit king blinked. Finished. Chengqing Wang Meng asked. Labor and capital, five fairy fruits, can't get you a complete sentence, right? If it were someone else, Chengqing Wang promised to make it disappear completely from this world. Boss, why don't you say something else? Are you sure you want me to tell you? Chengqing Wang Mengran understood. If the little rabbit king didn't say anything, it would be tantamount to not expressing his position, and not expressing his position naturally means not helping. Immediately overjoyed, he miraculously took out a fairy fruit and offered it with both hands. The little rabbit king took it, and threw it behind him in a big way. It caused a burst of looting among the cave owners. Chengqing Wang saw that the purpose wanted to slap himself. He might as well throw it behind himself. It was done by a good man. King Yu and she leaned over and asked, Is there any more? Give me one, I didn't like it just now. No more. Wang Chengqing was furious, at the foot of Tianxing Mountain. Fifteen hundred flood dragons covered the sky and covered the sky, staring at them. The master of the monster slayer was caught in a dilemma for a while. It is very difficult to break through the iron barrel surrounded by one thousand five hundred dragons. It's not just a few troops, it's not impossible to wipe out the whole army. Xuanyuan Feng, who was the head of the mirror envoy, was dripping with cold sweat at this moment, and he didn't dare to attack rashly. Because as long as you start playing, you can't control it later. But if you don't fight, you can't retreat in a desperate manner. Then the demon slayer will not be able to mix in the future. Master Zhang Jing, don't worry, although there are many monster dragons, but my Buddhist monk is here, the world will not be sunny. I saw a young monk wearing a golden cassock with a face like a crown coming out of the Buddhist forces. This little monk is not a mortal at first glance. The whole temperament is holy and dusty, and above the round bald head, there is a simple halo. The halo presents red, orange, green, blue, blue, purple, and seven colors. Shining brightly, the Buddha's light shines everywhere. Single quote dot, seven color Buddha seal. Xuanyuan Feng was shocked immediately, and put his palms together quickly, this master didn't ask for advice. The little monk, golden Buddha's son, bowed slightly. Don't dare, the dignified third grade mirror master turned his face drastically and avoided directly. I dare not accept the gift at all. He knew that this time Buddhism sent a series of contemporary eminent monks to help out. But I didn't expect that there were also eminent monks with seven-color Buddha seals on their heads. And it looks so young. What does the seven-color Buddha seal represent? It means that the little eminent monk in front of him has reached an extremely extraordinary level of comprehension of Buddhism. It can be said that he is sympathetic to the sky and people, has compassion in his heart, and becomes a Buddha immediately, all without saying a word. It is the living Buddha who walks in this world. In addition, the seven-color Buddha seal is not just a status symbol. It is a manifestation of merit. But all eminent monks who have attained the Tao will save all living beings, do good deeds, and cultivate meritorious deeds. Admired and worshipped by the world. Coupled with the practice of Buddhism and Buddha Gong, the supreme Buddhist relics are cultivated in the body. The completion of a relic, once a kind of strange Buddha light. The little eminent monk has seven-color Buddha seals on his head. It shows that at least seven supreme and noble relics have been cultivated in the body. Therefore, how can such a master's gift be given lightly? Golden Buddha, Golden Buddha, Xuanyuan Feng suddenly felt that this Dharma name sounded familiar, as if he heard it often. There is a thousand households around me. His complexion changed suddenly. He leaned over to remind him, My lord, this is the Dharma name bestowed by His Majesty the Emperor. Xuanyuan Fang's eyes widened, and he remembered it all at once. Back then, Buddhism encountered a major event that shocked the government and the public. One day, a rock bird flew to the front of Dalian Temple in Kyoto. Hovering but not advancing, the sound of constant high-altitude beeping. 
Later, the monks came out to have a look and turned pale with shock. There was actually a baby lying on the back of the rock. The whole body of the baby is shining with the Buddha's light, the Buddha's light is holy, Jiao, s and simple, forming a vision of its own. I didn't know it at first glance, but I was shocked when I saw it. The little baby is actually a born Buddha child. This incident then alarmed Ming Xuanwang, who had just ascended the throne. Ming Xuanwang believed that this Buddha son was a gift from the Buddha for his enthronement. Long Yan is very happy. Immediately, he bestowed the Dharma title, Golden Buddha Son, as a key protection object. The status is extremely honorable. When Xuanyuan Feng knew the identity of the little eminent monk, he almost knelt down and hurriedly saluted, Master Little Buddha, why is it you, come here, send Buddha back quickly. If something happens to this person, even the first lord can't stand it. In Kyoto, Golden Buddha's prestige can be described as thunderous. The status is higher than the favored prince, also known as the Little Living Buddha. Seeing him is like seeing a Buddha. Countless dignitaries, regardless of their status, will kneel when they see the Little Living Buddha. If you have to touch his head, bless you. It is even the ancestors who smoked. However, Jin Fuzzy smiled slightly, walked up a few steps, and then took out a string of jasper beads from his wrist. The Buddha beads are crystal clear, holy and peaceful, emitting a faint and warm Buddha light. From the looks of it, it was ready to attack thousands of flood dragons. Xuanyuan Feng was frightened and hurried over to pull it, but was blocked by an invisible Buddha's light. In a hurry, he turned around like an ant on a hot pan. If something happened to this little living Buddha, they would kill so many demon masters, even ten of them would not be able to return to the capital alive. In fact, no one expected that the little living Buddha of Kyoto would appear in the team that wanted to hunt down the real dragon in Wolongtan. Xuanyuanfang didn't expect it, and maybe Wei Shuzun in the capital didn't expect it either. But looking at the appearance of the little living Buddha right now, it seems that he is determined to show his talents. In the sky, 1,500 flood dragons spread across the sky, with a menacing aura. That scene was enough to shock the crowd. This little living Buddha dared to stand up without saying anything else, his courage alone was already admirable. Xuanyuanfang saw that he couldn't stop him, so he could only join hands with the masters of Monster Slayer and put all their strength on guard. Once the little living Buddha is in any danger, he must protect it with all his might. However, the little living Buddha was deeply under the shadow of a heavy dragon, but his face was round and flawless, and his treasure was solemn. With a holy and inviolable appearance, Xuanyuan Feng was slightly relieved. The legal successor of Buddhism, the little living Buddha highly respected by the dignitaries and nobles in Kyoto. Presumably, he has great ability and will not disappoint. The most important thing was that Xuanyuan Feng discovered that there were still eight Buddhist eminent monks in his team. I thought it was specially to protect the little living Buddha. They are not worried, what is their hurry? The group of flood dragons lined up in the sky saw a young monk with a bald head standing out, his body was full of Buddha's light, and the whole person stood there shining brightly. It made their eyes full of greed. This little monk smells so good works up the appetite, it seems that you can live forever if you eat it. Many flood dragons could hardly restrain their primitive beast behavior, they wished they could rush down and swallow the little monk alive. But he saw the little living Buddha suddenly sitting in the air, clasping his hands together. The Buddha's light all over his body is blazing, like a golden fire is burning. Instant, an inexplicable Sanskrit sound resounded between heaven and earth. In all directions, there are mountains and seas, as if the gods are singing. People can't help being shocked, and various emotions change. Following this Sanskrit sound, unconsciously, the eyes of the people on the scene looking at the little living Buddha became devout. With its own Sanskrit sound, its potential is unparalleled. Just like the presence of the Buddha himself, people can't help but want to worship him and become the most devout believer of the other party. This Sanskrit sound spread throughout the suburbs, and thousands of people in villages spontaneously knelt on the ground, chanting Amitabha. Afterwards, this Sanskrit sound echoed around the entire Tianxing mountain. There was a lot of noise. Okay, Lin Mu of Crouching Dragon Pond frowned, and secretly had a thought in his heart to put down the butcher knife and become a Buddha immediately. This Sanskrit sound can confuse people's hearts. He began to pay attention to this little Buddhist monk. The peacock king in the demon spirit world was shocked, 
and an incredible expression appeared in his eyes. Immediately afterwards, Amitabha was also recited. And the scene, little monk, get out if you don't want to die, this is not a place for you to run wild. Angrily shouted from the dragons in the sky, and the Sanskrit sound resounded between the heaven and the earth, which made them very uncomfortable. But the little living Buddha ignored it and sat cross-legged in the air. The sacred seven-color Buddha seal on the top of the head is shining brightly. The whole person looks solemn, with a slight smile on the corner of his mouth, to see through all the sufferings in the world. Everything is empty, be compassionate, and save all living beings. Every move, every gesture, is the bearing of a god or Buddha. Little monk, you are looking for death. There is a dragon who can't help it, this meat meal that must be delivered to the door, the fragrance is permeating all over his body. I'm sorry if I don't eat. A dragon swooped down ferociously, opened its bloody mouth, and devoured the pressure towards the little living Buddha. Amitabha, the little living Buddha chanted, and the Buddha's light flourished in the whole person. A sala tree manifested in midair. What is a sala tree? It is said that Shakyamuni Tathagata Nirvana became a Buddha under two sala trees. Therefore, the sala tree is regarded as a Buddhist sacred tree. The sala tree appeared, blocking the dragon's dive, and seven or eight reading bars swept out of the tree. All of a sudden, it entangled the dragon. The Jiaolong has a huge body, and its strength is boundless, but it can't break free. Seeing this scene, the Jiaolong group in Hong Kong knew that this young monk was not simple, but a master of the human race. Immediately, more than a dozen flood dragons were killed. Lord Snake King has ordered that any human race that tries to enter the mountain will be killed without mercy. Lu Jun, protect the little living Buddha and heavenly master. Xuanyuan Feng became nervous, but his nervousness was completely unnecessary. There was still a holy smile on the corner of the little living Buddha's mouth, and he began to chant a Buddhist speech. The great vow to the house of fire in the three realms arrives, Dharma and sentient beings take refuge. The body and mind are pure and the holy life is constant, free and fearless to protect all living beings. Liberation of great love and compassion, the golden lotus everywhere proves Bodhi. With the chanting of the Buddha's words, a large number of Buddhist plants appeared in the air. There are worry-free trees, yanfu trees, auspicious grasses, and even Bodhi trees. If it is said that the Buddha attained nirvana and became a Buddha under the two sala trees, then he first attained Zen enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. No Bodhi tree, nor stand mirror. At the same time, holy lotus flowers bloomed in the sky. Each flower is full of Buddha nature, and people can't help but think that all four things are empty. This is Chiba Buddha Lotus, also known as Dion Golden Lotus, which is the sacred flower of Buddhism. The emergence of these Buddha nature plants traps BCFH dragons in them, making the ground a prison. Ren Jiaolong roared again and again, but it was of no avail. The master of the demon slayer, seeing a mere plant, can trap the fierce dragon. Immediately shocked. I finally understand that there are no worthless people under a great name. This little living Buddha is not as simple as a born Buddha. The height of Buddhism is beyond compare. What a powerful Buddhist monk. Lin Mu of Wulongtan was slightly surprised when he saw this scene. He never underestimated human masters. Knowing that the Ming dynasty could establish a country in this ghost world, it has ruled for many years without being overthrown. It must have a profound background and be like a cloud of masters. But he didn't expect that a mere little monk could be so extraordinary. When one person casts the Dharma, he traps the dragon master who is his great emperor. This is not easy, enough to make Lin Mu pay attention. Maybe there are many such masters down the mountain. It seems that I will be promoted to the five-clawed dragon today, so I can't lose Jingzhou carelessly. A touch of firmness appeared in Lin Mu's golden candle-like dragon pupils. Through these few days of accelerated cultivation, his Taoism has reached 100,000 years. Promotion evolution is nothing but a process. Immediately, Lin Mu sank to the bottom of the pool and began to enter the state of being promoted to Yinglong. The so-called promotion is equivalent to shedding the skin in the early stage. It will completely transform him. The three-clawed real dragon turned into a five-clawed yinglong, completely reborn, which is not even enough to describe. At the peak of the demon spirit world, the four great demon kings in the deep mountains and the seventy-two cave masters all showed serious expressions when they saw the young Buddhist monk's attack. 
anyone can see that the little monk is very powerful. The Dharma is profound, and the Buddha's light radiating from the whole body has a certain restraint effect on monsters. Hey hey hey, this little monk is a bit interesting, it should be delicious when turned into a radish. Little Rabbit King's eyes were bright, he couldn't help sticking out his tongue, and licked his lips. Eager to try, this king can beat him to a pulp with one punch. King Yuan Shi was gearing up and wanted to rush down the mountain and do a big job. Amitabha, you can't do it. That little monk must have practiced Mahayana Buddhism to be so capable. Peacock King spoke normally for the first time, but his expression was very strange. Since it is a look of envy, jealousy and hatred. Buddhist practice, Zhang is Hinayana Buddhism and Mahayana Buddhism. The basic Buddhist disciples are all practicing Hinayana Buddhism. Only those who truly have a relationship with the Buddha, who are deeply rooted in the Buddha, are qualified to practice Mahayana Buddhism and save all living beings. The difference between Hinayana and Mahayana is that Hinayana is to liberate oneself and practice to become a Buddha. Mahayana Buddhism is to liberate all living beings and make all living beings become Buddhas. The peacock king was raised by monks in an ancient temple since he was a child. His greatest wish is to practice Mahayana Buddhism. Unfortunately, this wish may not come true in a lifetime. Unless he has the ability to make Buddhists treat him differently in the future. King Chengqing was happiest when he saw the little Buddhist monk. For him, the more powerful characters appear on the stage, the more dangerous crouching dragon pilgrimage dragon will be. He believed that the little monk was just the beginning. Demon Slayer issued a first-level arrest warrant, and there should be many real masters. Haha, ha, if you can't kill with a knife, it's also a pleasure to sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight. Boss, are we really not going to help the real dragon in Wolongtan? Everyone is a demon from Tianxing Mountain. Isn't it bad to spread the word like this? Some cave owners couldn't help asking the little rabbit king. A group of big bosses from the monster tribe stood aside to watch the show, and thought it was weird. Shut up, other people are dragons, a high and mighty real dragon, what kind of relatives do you have? Chengqing Wang Li immediately scolded. What trouble do you add to yourself? In order to confirm his mind for the little rabbit king, he spent seven fairy fruits. It still hurts now. At this time, the little rabbit king kept his eyes fixed on the little Buddhist monk at the foot of the mountain, just like his lover. Can't move my eyes at all. This phenomenon made Chengqing Wang's mouth twitch thinking about whether to take out another fairy fruit. I'm afraid that the little rabbit king can't help but trouble that little monk. The so-called enemy of the enemy is one's friend. At the foot of the mountain. Ha ha. As expected of being a descendant of Buddhism, the Buddha's skills are profound, but the method of the little living Buddha is too gentle. With only this level, it is difficult for us to enter the mountain. When many Buddha plants trapped some dragons, a mirror envoy in flying fish suit with a knife on his back stood up. This mirror envoy is called Xuanyuanwa, with sword eyebrows and star eyes, and a strong masculinity in his whole person. The four mirror envoys of the Monster Slayer division are actually from the Xuanyuan family. This is a very ancient clan power of the human race. Xuanyuanfang, Xuanyuanwa, Xuanyuanshui, Xuanyuanyu. Those who are interested may see that these four names are very interesting. In fact, together, it means, wind, flower, snow and moon. Just different words with the same pronunciation. Base. The saber on Xuanyuanwa's back was out of its sheath, and it was as fast as a surprise. The speed at which the sword was drawn could not even be grasped by the naked eye. Break out the knife and cut off the water. Yuanwa shouted loudly, and the saber in his hand slashed across the air towards the dragon trapped by a Buddhist plant. A. A terrible and piercing sound of knives came out in vain. Immediately, a green sword light emerged as the times require. The blade of the blade suddenly soared, becoming more than ten feet in size. The dazzling knife light shot straight up, making Xingyu dim, like a gorgeous silver dragon. In the end, he slashed at the dragon with a crushing blow. Boom! The huge body of Zhaolong was immediately shattered, turning into a cloud of blood mist. If you see it, tell me what to do kill these dragons, and go into the mountains to get the dragon. Immediately, the eyes of the demon-slaying masters brightened, and their morale was greatly boosted. They drew their swords out one after another. Every shot is an absolute killing move. No one is left alive. A strong and pungent smell of blood filled the air, 
causing thousands of dragons to go crazy. It is impossible for the plants manifested by the little living Buddha to trap all the dragons. For a while, the roar shook the sky. A large number of flood dragons fought together with the master demon slaying masters. Killed in the dark, however, the dragon trapped by the Buddha-like plants may be easy to kill, but the free-moving dragon has amazing fighting power. Ordinary human masters are not their opponents at all. Many guards with knives also want to learn how Xuanyuangwa draws gourds. But while not hurting the dragon at all, he was directly swallowed alive. According to the number of people, in fact, the number of troops sent by the monster-killing division is not as large as that of Zhaolong. Coupled with the fact that the Zhaolong is huge and covered with scales, the human race will fall into a disadvantage once it is really beaten down. And to draw an important point, these dragons all have 10,000 years of Taoism. If anyone goes out, it can become a terrifying existence on the side of disaster. 1,500 articles, with this scale, even if you enter the Forbidden City in Kyoto, it is not impossible. That little living Buddha was very powerful, but he had no killing intent in his eyes, he just trapped the dragon with Buddha nature plants. The original intention was to allow the masters of demon slayers to enter the mountain smoothly. Unexpectedly, a bloody battle was directly triggered. In the case of the dragon group and the human masters each having casualties. It wasn't until a Taoist master stood up that the decadent situation of the human race was completely reversed. He was dressed in white and had no sword in his hand, but as soon as he stood up, an incomparably powerful sword and tent spread all over the sky. Quenching nothingness, everything becomes empty. His eyes were as cold as still water, but there was sword energy in them. The sword momentum of the whole person climbed steadily, and the straight sword shadow flashed and rushed to the sky. In an instant, the sky and the earth changed color. The gentleman said, he is the successor of the Taoist sword sect. He is the young generation of the human race, a well-known sword hero. Die, Jun Zian looked at the flood dragons scattered all over the sky and shouted a word. The word death contains infinite killing intent. In an instant, the wind was rumbling, and the grass and trees were all swords. It was obvious that he was holding a sword in his hand, but the dragons were chopped into the air by the invisible and powerful sword energy. The huge body is split in two. Blood poured down the sky. This person's swordsmanship made the masters of demon slayers amazed. What a Taoist sword sect air, at such a young age, he actually comprehended the realm of having no sword in his hand is better than having a sword in his hand. Xuanyuan Feng, the head mirror envoy standing beside the little living Buddha, spoke in admiration. As soon as the opponent made a move, he cut down more than a dozen dragons at once. The strength is strong, the heart is insane. My lord, master mirror master, would you like to enter the mountain and take the dragon? Xuanyuan Feng was shocked, and said, Your Excellency, even if you go into the mountain, if you can take down the Nalong in Wolongtan, the First Lord will definitely reward you a lot, and you will go to the Holy Master to ask for credit for you. Jun Zian's sword energy swept across his body like a wave of air, he slashed a bloody path, and rushed into the entrance of Tianxing Mountain. There is no need to ask for merit. The sword of my gentleman can kill countless demons. If I can kill dragons today, it will not be a waste of training. Before he finished speaking, Jun Zian disappeared into the forest. Also because Jun Zian was the first to enter Tianxing Mountain, he became famous. All of a sudden, it spread throughout Kyoto. However, it is infamy. The real dragon in Wolongtan, no matter in the suburbs or in the capital, killed Liamu Quanquan by himself. Gained a large number of fans. Demon Slayer's encirclement and suppression of the real dragon in Wolongtan this time caused public resentment to boil. Was condemned by verbal criticism. The gentleman said that he was the first to enter Tianxing Mountain when 1,500 dragons closed the mountain. Seems like a feat. In fact, it is back to blame. Especially the sentence of killing the dragon engraved him on the pillar of shame. However, these are all things to come, and they are not important to Jun Zian because after he entered the mountain, he never had the chance to go down the mountain again. No matter what things, once the gap is opened, it will be out of control. As Junzian rushed into Tianxing Mountain, the little living Buddha followed closely behind. In addition, there are several sect masters with strong fighting power who follow closely. People with super fighting power finally entered the mountain. Instead, 
it was the adults who killed the monsters and stayed behind. Facing the endless anger of the Flood Dragon group. Obviously, they didn't fulfill Lord Snake King's orders, and all the dragons wished to die with the human race. This is a pain for the adults of the Demon Slaying Division, who slay countless monsters on weekdays, and finally become the food of the Flood Dragon. The gentleman said that after entering the mountain, it was like a sharp sword, and it was quickly inserted by the stone bridge of Wolongtan. At the first glance, I saw a majestic willow tree with thousands of branches swaying and shining. Ha, huh, what a big demon tree. Jun Zian's eyes burst into a sharp light, even monsters deserve to die. I am a fairy tree, not a demon tree. That dragon is at the bottom of the pond, don't stare at me. Willow betrayed Lin Yu immediately. It was originally a guest who came to Wolongtan to stay temporarily, so he lost his old life because of it. Isn't it unfair? HMPH, it doesn't take me much effort to cut down your demon tree. After all, the gentleman said that he swiped his knife towards the towering willow tree. In an instant, a radiant sword energy rushed out and slashed towards the tree. Damn, you said that the dragon was at the bottom of the pond, and you still attacked this fairy tree, are you human? The willow tree screamed strangely, and thousands of branches wrapped its body densely, like an iron bucket. Clang! The resplendent sword energy slashed at Lu Xu's body, making the sound of metal plates, and then collapsed. When Jun Zian saw it, he was slightly surprised, this demon tree is a bit smart. He was able to block his own sword energy. You must know that the dragon at the foot of the mountain is covered with scales, which is impossible. Lu Xu smiled coldly, and complained in his heart. Labor and management have been bullied by that perverted crow in this life, okay. Junzian became serious, and the sword momentum all over his body began to rise, and the whole person was like a divine sword about to come out, showing its sharpness. Hey, I told you that the dragon is at the bottom of the pool, are you still here? Even if you can't kill mere demon trees, I don't need to kill dragons either. Willow was stunned when he heard the words, is there any connection between the two? My tree pestle is here, and it doesn't affect you to slay the dragon. If you think I'm an eyesore, I can move this fairy tree. However, under Jun Zian's powerful sword intent, a violent and domineering sword energy slashed out like a wicked dragon. The air nearby exploded inch by inch. This sword energy is so powerful that it can split mountains and rivers. Damn, this fairy tree really wants to be like that crow, draw a circle and curse you for giving birth to a son without an asshole. Thousands of branches of the willow shone with light, condensing into an invincible defense. Clang! The sword energy that dominates the world is also in vain and blocked. Only a dozen branches were cut off. Jun Zian's stern expression turned into a dignified expression, this demon tree is a bit weird. It's almost done, don't finish it, or this fairy tree will go crazy. Willow warns. My gentleman said that since I make a move, there will be no living things under the sword. If I don't cut your demon tree in half, I will not give up. Children of the human race, think about what you are here for, okay. Do you have any central idea? The gentleman said, I don't listen, I don't listen. A mere demon tree can block his sword, if it spreads, he will embarrass himself to the Taoist sword sect. This fairy tree doesn't show its power, you really think I'm a sick cat, easy to bully, right? As the words fell, a gleaming branch swept out, and there was a crisp cracking sound, as if the air had exploded. Pulling towards the gentleman's words, the small branch actually contains unimaginably powerful power. He didn't dare to take it hard, and dodged to avoid it. The branches were drawn to the ground, and the ground was drawn out into a deep ravine. Call out! Dot 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 exclamation mark. Call out! Immediately, more than a dozen, Hundreds of branches were pulled towards Junzian again and again, with the fragile body of the human race. If it is drawn, it may directly turn into a cloud of blood. Clap 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 clap. The air continued to explode, and Junzian kept dodging with his body skills. A little overwhelmed, a little embarrassed. At this time, the little living Buddha came to Wolongtan, followed closely behind, followed by six or seven masters of sects. When they saw Jun Zian being whipped by a willow branch, they could only defend passively. Immediately shocked. What kind of tree, so hanging? Press and beat the Taoist and Kendo inheritors. You wanna die. Jun Zian became furious when people saw his embarrassment. 
opening his mouth to spit out, a three-foot green sharp edge flashed out, and the sword light soared into the sky. Immediately, the three-foot Qingfeng was held in Jun Zian's hands, and his momentum soared, like a god descending from the earth. Just swipe, crash, hundreds of sweeping branches were directly crushed. Damn, I'm sorry, this fairy tree is wrong. Countless willow branches support the ground, running like octopuses crazily. Such a majestic tree body is surprisingly fast. Jun Zian just wanted to chase after him with a sword, but many people have already come to Wolongtan. I was the first to rush up, such a good opportunity to slay the dragon, but was delayed by a tree. Can't help but get angry. If you want to compete with that demon tree now, I'm afraid it will delay the business. That's all, after slaying the dragon, I will find that demon tree to settle the score. At this time, everyone found that after the majestic willow tree escaped, a black coffin appeared on the spot. Moreover, there is no coffin cover in the coffin, which looks very strange. Jun Zian leaned forward to take a look, and was immediately surprised. Several other sect masters also went up to take a look out of curiosity. Before I saw it, I couldn't move my eyes away. Inside the coffin lay a woman who was as beautiful as a fairy. Everyone gasped. Such a coffin and such a beautiful woman appeared in the place where the real dragon was trained in Wolongtan. Everyone felt a little weird. The little living Buddha also looked forward, and suddenly his round and flawless face was full of strangeness. He clasped his hands together and said, Amitabha, the body has become a demon, this is a zombie. What? This woman is a zombie. Everyone was very surprised. However, it was soon discovered that the evil spirit inside the coffin was very strong. If ordinary people get close, it will be like falling into a thousand-year ice cellar. HMPH, the dragon of Wolongtan openly confronts the imperial court, it really is not a good thing, and it even raises zombies. Jun Zian opened his mouth coldly, staring intently at the sword. Destroy it, zombies can't live in the world. Someone spoke. Everyone nodded, and even the little living Buddha who saved all sentient beings agreed. Zombies are actually not the scariest thing, the scariest thing is that zombies may be promoted to Hanba. That's the real disaster. Jun Zian prepared to destroy the female zombie in the coffin with a sword. However, this time, the sleeping female zombie suddenly opened her eyes, blood glistening to the sky. A terrible evil spirit was like a volcanic eruption, and it was getting out of control day by day. Get out of the way! Someone exclaimed. Zombie's evil spirit is about to invade the body, the mild one will be seriously injured, and the severe one will lose all his body. After the evil spirit erupted, the awakened zombie woman flew into the air with her long hair fluttering. She is tall and has fair skin. The impeccable beauty is dazzling. If it weren't for the evil spirit all over her body, people might think that she was a nine-day fairy descending to the mortal world. Little zombie, do you also want to bring disaster to the common people? First ask me if I will agree with the three-foot green sword in my hand. Jun Zian looked at the zombie woman in midair, pierced the sky with his sword, and the fierce sword energy destroyed the dead. Zombie woman blocks with both arms. Just flying back a few feet, block the sword energy. A gentleman's words are full of unbelievable. What's the situation? The demon tree blocked its own sword energy with branches before. Now a female zombie has done it with both arms. The ones with the lowest defensive power are those dragons at the foot of the mountain. He almost wondered if there was something wrong with his kendo. Amitabha, let the little monk suppress it. The little living Buddha held the Jasper Buddha beads, and the Buddha's light blazed all over his body. A burst of Sanskrit sound suddenly sounded between heaven and earth. The zombie woman immediately frowned, showing a look of extreme discomfort. The heart is even more irritable, and the eyes are full of madness. He was about to go crazy. Sudden, the surface of Wolongtan is boiling, like boiling water. The airflow in a radius of more than 10 feet suddenly became chaotic, collapsed, and twisted. The huge change attracted everyone's attention, followed by a sudden change of complexion. A terrified dragon's power came out from the bottom of the pool. No, that dragon is about to show up, what a mighty dragon. Everyone retreated one after another, even though they came to take the dragon, they suppressed it. But the invincible posture of killing the six-eyed golden dragon before the real dragon in Wolongtan is still fresh in people's memory. Don't be careless, 
L. A majestic and boundless dragon chant resounded. The crouching dragon pool turned upside down, and a huge dragon's head rushed out of the pool first. Under a burst of turbulent water waves, it soared straight up, straight into the sky. The winding dragon body, shining like precious jade, seems to be washed out endlessly. It's like there's no end to it. The dragon's body was too long, and it took a full minute for the light to sweep out of crouching dragon pool. And it's already skyrocketing at an extremely fast speed. The little living Buddha talked to the gentleman, even the master of the sect, all looked dignified. You haven't really seen the dragon in front of you, and you don't know how powerful this dragon is. Just skimming out of the pool makes people feel a sense of suffocation. Your heart, your soul will start to tremble uncontrollably. When the real dragon of Wulongtan hovered in the sky above Tianxing Mountain, the whole sky became dark, covering the sky and the sun. A thick and terrifying dragon power invaded the world. The air immediately became oppressive, making one's liver and gallbladder split. Ordinary people, under this kind of dragon prestige, can only sneak down. And if you forcefully refuse to kneel, you will even be crushed by Longwei. Along with the real dragon in Wolongtan, it once again became the focus of worldwide attention. No matter how far you are in Tianxing Mountain, no matter where you look from, you can see the domineering real dragon of Wolongtan lying high in the sky. The attitude of swallowing mountains and rivers and looking down on everything seems to be born with him. It seems that this world is specially bestowed on the talent of dragons. Especially the real dragon at this time, the whole body of the dragon is always flickering up and down. It looks so radiant that you can't look directly at it. Master Tianju has appeared, because the family is on the fast track. The people in the suburbs were excited and worshipped. In order to show solemnity, incense candles were found from home and lit. Gao Shang respects the real dragon. Tianju, the real Long Tianju appeared again, it's Chinese New Year. Kyoto is no exception, a large number of dignitaries. People, the rich and the idle, and the ladies all rushed to the street. Looking up at the direction of Tianxing Mountain, his face was full of excitement. The demon slayer's encirclement and suppression of the real dragon has already touched the hearts of countless people. At this time, Master Tianju appeared, but it was a bit like telling everyone that they were safe. On that day, all those in Long rejected Emperor Mingxuan's canonization edict. But the people still call the real dragon of Wulongtan Master Tianju. Emperor Zan of the Ming Dynasty had his own way of bestowing honorary titles. The title of Tianju has won the hearts of the people. It seems that everyone thinks that only this title is worthy of the real dragon of Wulongtan who killed the six-eyed golden beast and saved countless people. If you ask everyone to think of one again, I really can't think of it. Sky candles hold up a piece of sky for the people and erect a beam of light. Powerful and domineering. In contrast, Baishan Yunhu's title of lake god seems mediocre and useless. How could the god of a lake compare to a piece of sky? The so-called layman watches the excitement, while the insider watches the way. Demon Slayer Headquarters Wei Shuzun only took a look when he saw the real dragon in Wulongtan Hengkong. His expression began to become serious. Something is wrong. The aura is not right, the breath is not right, and the whole appearance is not right. The light flowing through the whole body of the real dragon in Wulongtan is constantly flickering. The breath that diffused out became more and more intense. Up and down, presents a very unstable state. Ordinary people feel that the real dragon is now radiant and looks down on the world. But what a character Wei Shuzun is. The eyes are extremely poisonous. It is often possible to see the essence through the phenomenon at a glance. The real dragon that appeared in front of him, the breath of the dragon is gradually changing. There seems to be a reborn, Phoenix Nirvana flavor. Wei Yan was greatly shocked, with such a shocked expression. It rarely appears on the face of this first lord. Even the other party has climbed to the Tianmen with the body of a dragon and has never appeared. Promoted, it actually wants to be promoted. Wei Shuzun said it in disbelief, and the beautiful fox who was waiting on the side was stunned when he heard it. Three clawed real dragon promotion. Isn't that a five clawed dragon? My lord, don't make fun of the servants. And the truth of this joke is a bit big. Yinglong is a legendary ancient beast and the overlord of the dragon clan. The Ming dynasty has been ruled by Wu Kaiguo for so many years. 
In these four seas and eight wildernesses, in these nine heavens and ten lands, there has never been such a noble and infinite beast as Jackie Chan. In the impression of the fox beauty, only the nine-tailed sky fox in Qingzhou's legend can compare with it. However, in the history of Qingzhou, there was only one nine-tailed celestial fox in the prehistoric period. It is the fox ancestor. As for Yinglong, although he is not an ancestor dragon, he is comparable to the nine-tailed sky fox. The overlord of the dragon has a high status. Wei Shuzun stared blankly at the real dragon in the sky above Tianxing Mountain, and couldn't help but start to doubt himself. He knew that the other party's potential was astonishing, his blessings were profound, and he had ascended to heaven and transformed into a dragon at the fastest speed in history. Therefore, I developed a love of talent, from killing to protecting. But Wei Shuzun never expected that even though he overestimated, he actually underestimated. How long has it been since that dragon reached the gate of heaven? Now you tell me that you want to be promoted to Ying Long. This is simply a joke on this world. From a big spectrum. The more Wei Shuzun thought about it, the more wrong he became, and he disappeared out of nowhere. When he reappeared, he was in the town god's temple for Shantong. City god was looking at Tianxing Mountain, with the same dull expression. It's like having polio, messed up in the wind. The two big men looked at each other, as if they wanted to verify something from each other's eyes. But the messages revealed by their eyes are almost the same. Confused, shocked, unbelievable. It is also because everyone's eyes are the same, it seems to be more indirect to prove something. If one of them misjudged, it might still be possible. But there is absolutely no probability that the two will make a mistake in judgment together. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.